Hey guys, Pirata here, uh, and in this video I will talk about how you can send files to your Bruce device. So uh, let's get into it, right? In the first uh, example, I will show you how to send files into M5 Stick C Plus, right? This is an M5 Stack device, and it doesn't have an SD card, so. The problem is, how will you send files into this guy if the USB-C can't communicate with your computer to send files into this guy? Uh, well, this is how we do it. So you will come here, right? Uh, files. And something important, I'm running uh, the last beta version that today is 20, April 26 and uh, these there are a few changes in the web user interface that will come in the version after 1.9.1 okay so if you're watching this video now maybe you have the new version and the things will be like this but see if you are in the version 1.9.1 I will show you what is the difference and uh, install the last version maybe you, you have some things new here so here uh, on files right you have uh, SD card SD card little FS right little FS is a little file system where you have almost three megabytes here inside and if you're using launcher you have one megabyte of uh, storage here. so it's quite a small space yeah I agree but it's just for us to send things that are really important so this is something that we must keep in mind uh, and web UI so what can we do with the web UI let's get here we have two options uh, my network and access point mode let's explore my network first it was scanned for the networks uh, I'll get into my network it is already saved so I don't need to uh, type the, the, the the password right and now let's see I'll change here I'll, let, I'll leave it over here so and change it to my computer let's go it says uh, the IP address or we can type bruce.local bruce.local bruce and it will try to get it yeah uh, in my version here it didn't ask the passwords but sometimes you no, it should have asked and now here we have the web UI here is where I can send files into the into Bruce okay and what files can we send let me find some here uh, for example I have some files here of infra flipper zero infrared database and let's find here TVs and I don't know whatever and this cranker generic I dot ir so we just send it here it will upload and we have the file here okay so the file now is inside our m5 stick c and something that is very interesting is that we can uh we have these buttons here right so this first this first button here like uh, an antenna 
you can shoot send the signal so if you click in it it will confirm spamming all codes inside the file it understands that it is an infrared file so if you click OK it will send the command and you'll see the LED flashing in your stick device download rename so I can rename the file here delete and edit so this is what we have inside the file okay this is if you and if you want to change something like the name I want to change to move these and just click save and we are okay this is the thing click save and back and now we have this uh, so this is uh, Bruce Web UI okay the way you can send files into this uh, serial commands this is another interesting thing for example I can send B uh, for one second and we will hear yeah it sounds <laughs> music okay and there's some commands we can send here like to send this command to send the infrared it is sent from us by using serial commands and if we have let me find it here we can send like sub gigahertz files so if you have some sub gigahertz files like Tesla that is something that people like right just you can uh, drag and drop okay but if you're running 1.9.2.1 you need to uh, send files one by one okay so you need to find the the files and send here and in this version we can send multiple files or multiple folders or dragging and drop files so files will be sent uh, to the to the device and I will just change here to the to the camera let me see here yeah here we have no uh, this is the wrong thing let's go back into the yeah so here I will click here to send the infrared spam yeah it has the wrong configuration here somewhere let's see edit and here we will have some things yeah the pins are wrong for this device rotation and okay no problem this is not the problem uh, I will show you with the other device so just escape and let's close it okay the second option we have for the web UI is access point mode so think about it as you're on the bus you don't have your computer and you're not connected into uh, a network okay and you want to send files into this guy how can you do that so you can do like this open in the access point mode it will start a network that I'll show you here so let's see we have here a smartphone and uh, to start you need to put your phone in the airplane mode because if it is connected uh, into the mobile data it will not work properly so airplane mode turn on Wi-Fi and it will find BruceNet and the password here is BruceNet show password so this is the password of this network here and connect okay it has just connected open your browser and 
you open here like uh, Bruce dot local dot local couldn't reach okay no problem let's try our IP address 172.0.0.1 and here we have username, admin, password, Bruce, sing in. Got it. Okay, so here we have the web UI with the files that we have sent from our computer. Okay, if you want to change the password of the web UI, you can come here, uh, user pass, and change the values here. Look, it has a <laughs> good enough and cancel. Uh, okay, this is how you access the web UI using your smartphone. And this is uh, for this device. It will be the same thing for Team Bad C1101, for Card Pewter, for DDAC. And look at that guy there. This is the Display F3 Pro running Bruce. So this is the guy. This is a new guy that came today. And this is how you access it from your computer. Uh, and from here you can send files and do whatever you want. Like, let's see. Let's send a picture here. Yeah. And here we have a very nice picture inside Bruce device okay that is inside M5 stack device but we have something that is very interesting with the ESP 32 S3 devices such as card pewter DDAC TNBAT and others and what is it these guys they can access, uh, you can access your files through the mass storage option. So here you have, let's come again, files, one, two, three, mass storage, and it's waiting for you to connect this guy here. Okay, and then on the computer you see that uh, it takes some time some time to see the clock is ticking <laughs> but it will be identified as a, as a pen drive as a mass storage device it takes a little time to identify and to start, but once it, it is recognized by the computer, you can send files through it. Uh, and it will be uh, a good option, right, for these devices. Because here, here we have, that's, I will change the screen here. Uh, Here we have, this is what I have in my uh, store, stored in my D-embed SD card. Are you doubting that? So let's do this. New uh, file and let's type it here. My new file is awesome and inside this file we will write together here let's say pretty and now let's look into the team bed let's get out to close as the card and he we have my new file is awesome and new file 
this is what we just wrote there <laughs> so this is uh, the ways you can send files into your Bruce device and this is how you can uh, use the web UI of Bruce it's very good to talk to you and I just ask you to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends if they need so thank you very much